The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Would you rather have your 911 call bring a good guy with a gun from a mile away or from a minute away? Now, I can imagine the headlines, the shocking headlines you'll print tomorrow. More guns you'll claim are the NRA's answer to everything. Your implication will be that guns are evil and have no place in society, much less in our schools. But since when did the gun automatically become a bad word? A gun in the hands of a Secret Service agent protecting our president isn't a bad word. A gun in the hands of a soldier protecting the United States of America isn't a bad word. And when you hear your glass breaking at 3 a.m. and you call 911, you won't be able to pray hard enough for a gun in the hands of a good guy to get there fast enough to protect you. So, why is the idea of a gun good when it's used to protect the president of our country or our police, but bad when it's used to protect our children in our schools? There are kids. There are responsibility. And it's not just our duty to protect them. It's our right to protect them. You know, five years ago, after the Virginia Tech tragedy, when I said we should put armed security in every school, the media called me crazy. But what if, what if when Adam Lanza started shooting his way into Sandy Hook Elementary School last Friday, He'd been confronted by qualified armed security. Will you at least admit it's possible that 26 little kids, that 26 innocent lives might have been spared that day? Is it so important to you that you'd rather continue to risk the alternative? Is the press and the political class here in Washington, D.C. so consumed by fear and hatred of the NRA and American gun owners that you're willing to accept a world where real resistance to evil monsters is a lone, unarmed school principal left to surrender her life, her life, to shield those children in her care. No one, no one, regardless of personal political prejudice, has the right to impose that sacrifice. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no national one-side-fits-all solution to protecting our children. But do know this president zeroed out school emergency planning grants in last year's budget and scrapped Secure Our Schools policing grants in next year's budget. With all the foreign aid the United States does, with all the money in the federal budget, can't we afford to put a police officer in every single school?